Outrocast. Jessica, Raphael, pleasure to be speaking with both of you. Uh, I'll throw this first one at Raphael. Had you done much filming in or around Mexico prior to this role? Yes, I have actually. Uh, I've uh, uh, worked in Mexican productions, uh, interpreting Mexican characters. So yeah, I am not a stranger to Mexico, uh, to the Mexican working environment. I love it down there. Uh, I'm used to like uh, working in bilingual shows as well. Right. And uh, I think uh, it's such a, it makes up for such a fun and exhilarating experience. You know, language is a window into a culture. And when you do that on a TV series, I think it's, it, it creates uh, something very special and it gives international audiences um, a better background in order to understand the context in which the story is being told. Well said. Uh, Jessica, as an award-winning well actress, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was th opening this one with a compliment, Jessica. I was going to say, as an award-winning actress, because you are an award-winning performer. Is. There, Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't see anything in your filmography that would have filmed in Mexico. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. This is my first time filming in Mexico. Hopefully not my last. <laughs> but well, we're gonna go um, back. come on. We're we are gonna, gonna go back. back. We're gonna go back. Um, no, it's 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 been the opportunity of a lifetime. And to be in a bilingual show, especially when I started it, knowing no Spanish at all, uh, that's changing. Uh, Acapulco is. Uh, I am learning Spanish slowly. Um, but uh, no, this was this was such a specific, I couldn't have imagined being in a bilingual show that shoots in Mexico. Uh, and nothing on my resume would would argue that. Like, yeah, I shouldn't have thought that. But um, I got lucky and I landed this amazing job and uh, it, it's it's changed my life. I mean, not just not just the role, but mm -hmm. uh, but living in this culture, in this country for three months out of the year, twice now, hopefully more, mm -hmm. uh, has been the most amazing experience. Taking things in a different direction here. See, m I learned bad Spanish from public schools in New York, from people mm -hmm. who don't speak Spanish very well. Uh -huh. But I, I practice every day on the app called Duolingo. How are you oh. learning Spanish? Is, is yeah. Rafael helping you? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, well, tengo mucha suerte. You have a uh, lot of luck. De tener a mi familia de Acapulco para ayudar. Wow. Mucho ayudar. Muy bien, eh? Sí. <laughs> uh, yes, I rely. I also am learning from Duolingo. There's a little plug for Duolingo. Yeah, I was about to say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from my um, my Acapulco family. I mean, I, I uh, it's very scary to to speak a language <laughs> that you don't know. Um, and and you know, it's it's not just the cast; it's the cast and crew, and they have been so supportive, and and so kind and patient with me learning. It makes me want to learn as quickly as I can. I, I want to be in their world. I want to be I want to be uh, on the inside. And um, I know how I feel speaking Spanish. You're only you know, when I speak Spanish, you're not getting the full me. And I feel the same with my Latino, my Spanish speaking friends that I want to know them. The more I can understand their language, the more I can know really their their souls and and truly know them. So that's really been the inspiration for me. So Duolingo and just and just talk. I mean, I talk to my daughter. We're kind of learning something. Like you're learning. She's six. We're learning Spanish together, and oh. and we do, and we we speak together. I'll teach her like a sentence a day, and together we just just so it's being spoken in the house. My husband's British, so uh. there's nobody speaking a different language, <laughs> different dialects in my house, but. Um, so we just, you know, we just make it happen for ourselves. And and uh, in fact, I just found out she's in third grade. She'll be, she'll be, she'll be learning, learning Spanish. Spanish. There we go. And I'm like, I'm there. Bring the Once book. Season three, season four, I'm bring her over. Also. <laughs> <laughs> well, then my last question for both of you before I let you go. Obviously, we're here to talk about Acapulco season two. Yes. Well, are you allowed to say what's next otherwise? Or is it all under deadline.com embargoes? <laughs> what's next for Acapulco or for, for us? For you established colleagues 
Oh, wow. Uh, oh. For us established colleagues in, in the industry. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I have some other projects coming out. I'm also working on de developing my own stories and mm, the, my own projects. Um, but I think right now, um, Acapulco is really uh, what's taking most of my time, just because uh, we are so thankful and grateful to be part of such yes. a wonderful story. Right. Uh, and uh, we hope that we get more of it. We hope that we get a season three and uh, a season four. You know, so far, we can't believe we're already doing a second season. And that's thanks to the audiences, the international audiences that have truly giving us so much love. We're yes. here because of them, you know, and the fact that we get to do this in like an international environment, uh, representing uh, and showcasing uh, the Latino experience to its fullest mm -hmm. is just such a privilege. And we get to do it while making people laugh. Yeah. It's, it's such a funny show. Yeah. I mean, what <laughs> yeah. else could we ask for? I just hope that we get 10 more seasons of this. Yeah, what, nice. what do you think, Jessica? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you both for your time and looking oh, forward to you. whatever's next, whether it's your stories or season three or both. Thank you. You're thank so you. kind. Thank you so much. Outrocast.